BYD is blowing the hypercar world. They are bringing to the market an electric monster that literally jumps off the ground. No, this isn't clickbait. The Yangwang U9 by BYD is rewriting the EV supercar rulebook with text so wild, it literally jumps off the ground. Let's explore this wild monster and see if it's capable of threatening brands such as Ferrari, Remac, and Koenigsegg. If you're new here, welcome to Carfax, your home for deep dives into the car's rewriting history. Hit that like button, subscribe, and let's break down why this electric monster has the entire auto industry watching its every move. The hypercar world is brutally competitive. Tesla hopefully will have the Roadster someday. Remac has the Nevera, and even Ferrari is working on an all-electric machine. But BYD, China's EV juggernaut, just dropped a carbon fiber missile with over 1,300 horsepower, and no one saw it coming. The U9 is more than BYD flexing its tech muscles. It's a symbol that China is no longer just following trends, it's leading. If this is what Chinese engineering can do at the high end, what does it mean for the rest of the car market? At first glance, the U9 looks like it was built in a wind tunnel by a robot, and we mean that as a compliment. It's angular, aggressive, and purposeful, with active aero elements and full-width LED lighting. There's nothing subtle about it, but that's kind of the point. Inside, the U9 surprises with refinement. Unlike some EV startups, BYD has actually put thought into materials and layout. Expect a three-screen cockpit, Alcantara-clad surfaces, and attention to detail that feels closer to McLaren than MG. It's flashy, but it works. Let's talk numbers. The U9 produces 1,287 horsepower and 1,680 newton meters of torque, powered by four electric motors, one for each wheel. The 0 to 60 sprint happens in just 2.3 seconds. That's on par with a Remac Nevera top speed over 192 miles per hour. But the raw numbers only tell part of the story. This car isn't just fast in a straight line. It's engineered for corner carving violence. Torque vectoring, aero-assisted braking, and adaptive everything mean it's built to dance, not just drag. Before we continue, let me ask you something. Would you trust your life to a car that can hop like a kangaroo at 60 miles per hour? Drop a yes or no in the comments. I need to know if I'm the only one who thinks this is insane. The U9 comes with a proprietary Dysus X suspension system, which allows the car to jump off the ground, drive on three wheels, and dance. Yes, really. BYD showed it bouncing at a launch event like it was in a music video. Underneath the theatrics is some serious engineering. Dysus X is a fully active suspension that reacts in real time to road conditions. It eliminates body roll, stabilizes during extreme maneuvers, and allows for insane agility. This tech alone could change how future performance EVs are built. BYD went as far as putting the car to the test on the Nürburgring. The result? 7 minutes, 17.9 seconds. This is serious performance. They're chasing lap times. That's a major shift from other Chinese performance cars that focus on street specs and straight line speed. The U9's quad motor setup enables precise torque vectoring, helping the car pivot with surgical control. Performance is nothing without range, and here the U9 holds up. It uses BYD's proprietary blade battery architecture, known for safety and efficiency. Official range hasn't been confirmed, but it's expected to be around 280 to 310 miles. More importantly, the car supports ultra-fast charging thanks to BYD's 800-volt platform. In theory, 10 to 80% charging could take less than 20 minutes. That makes this hypercar more usable than most garage queens. Here's the real shocker. The Yangwang U9 is expected to be priced around $233,000 in China. That's a fraction of a Remac or Pininfarina Batista. For the performance and tech you're getting, this is borderline disruptive. You're not just buying an EV hypercar, you're buying the message. China can build world-class cars and sell them at prices that destroy the competition. This car could undercut the entire hypercar segment on value alone. 
Of course, there are skeptics. BYD has never built a performance car at this level before. The U9 could be a PR stunt, high on spectacle, low on real world delivery, but the company proved it's not. Let's be honest, dancing cars don't scream Nürburgring dominance. Also, while BYD's EV expertise is undeniable, it's untested in the rarefied air of supercar culture. Will traditional buyers see the U9 as a gimmick? Or worse, will it be seen as a toy from a mass market brand trying to cosplay as a Koenigsegg or a Remac? But let's zoom out and pay attention. The U9 is part of a much bigger game. BYD already outsells Tesla in global EV volume. With Yang Wang, its ultra-premium sub-brand, it's pushing into the emotional, aspirational space that Tesla still can't quite reach. And this is just the beginning. If BYD nails this rollout, it won't just be a dominant EV player, it could become a global luxury icon fast. Europe's boutique automakers should be nervous. The U9 offers more tech and speed than anything from Lotus, Maserati, or Aston Martin, at a fraction of the price. In the US, where EV hypercars remain vaporware, BYD has a chance to step in while others stall. One of the U9's biggest challenges isn't performance, it's perception. Western buyers are used to associating Chinese cars with economy and affordability, not speed and prestige. That stigma is real, and it'll take time to change. But every industry has its moment of disruption. Japan had it with Lexus. Korea had it with Genesis. Maybe this is China's hypercar moment, and the U9 is its opening salvo. The U9 isn't perfect. It's bold, unproven, and maybe a little too flashy, but that's exactly why it matters. It's the first Chinese hypercar that doesn't feel like a copy. It feels like a challenge to Tesla, to Remac, to Ferrari. Is it too early to call it a revolution? Maybe, but BYD has made one thing very clear. They're not playing catch up anymore. They're here to lead. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss our deep dives into the biggest shifts in the car world. What do you think? Would you spend $230,000 on a Chinese hypercar that jumps like a kangaroo and corners like a Koenigsegg? Drop your thoughts in the comments. We want to hear from you. Thanks for watching Car Facts. Catch you on the next one.